All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Still like it. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. This the brother, not by Ayasha, Jim and Cindy and Apple's camp. Come on another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with this people. This people heart is far from me. Because as you see on the screen, I took a, a screenshot of this church. Uh, I saw them on my way home, you know, from getting something to eat a while ago. And this is a church sign, right? This is supposed to be a temple of the Lord, right? Well, as you see, they're down with the LGBT uh, community. These are the rainbow colors. And that was actually a, a symbol that the Lord gave for Israel with a, a, a treaty that are made between him and us saying that he won't flood the earth by water no more. You see what I'm saying? So they took it and used it as an evil thing. You know what I'm saying? But it goes to show you that, like, uh, like the title says, that these this people heart is far from him and their mind is far from him. Because this will be a temple of the Lord. This will be a holy place, right? Y'all say y'all love the Lord, but at the same time, you're in support of an abominable act. Sod sodomy is an abominable act. What do you think the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for? You see what I'm saying? It wasn't because, it wasn't because, uh, uh, it wasn't because of the, just the Lord wanted to just because, no. The Lord destroyed Sodom and, and Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying, the five cities, it was a total of five cities. The Lord destroyed them because of what? Sodomy, a wicked act, an abominable act. What's an abomination? A filthy, wicked act in the, in the eyes of the Lord. See what I'm saying? Because why? It transgresses the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. See what I'm saying? So, we're going to deal with the uh, first scripture, which is uh, Matthew 15 and 8. It said, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Meaning what? You say you love the Lord. You're actually being hypocrites. You're being actors. You're pretending like you love the Lord, but you don't. Because if you really love the Lord, then guess what? You wouldn't be in support of this abominable act. See what I'm saying? And this is on a church sign. I didn't put the name of the church on there because, you know, I don't want, uh, you know what I'm saying, them to try to. Because you could, you could actually get sued for defamation, even though it's not defamation, but. With these uh, wacky, tacky Christians, they'll try to sue you. Because why? You're exposing their wickedness. So like the scriptures say, you know, just trying to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. But still, at the same time, uh, you know, edifying the, the, the body of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh with this video, showing that what? These churches ain't all that's cracked up to be. The Lord is not dealing with these churches. See what I'm saying? Because I'll tell you, Acts uh seventh chapter that the Lord dwelleth not in temples made with hands and you see why see what I'm saying now you see why because look at this wickedness this is a demonic act right here of a church a supposedly church a supposedly house of the Lord supporting sodomy LGBTQ is sodomy you get what I'm saying it's an abominable, wicked act. And, and this church is in support of it. Why? Because it's, it's all about revenue. It's not, it's not about saving the souls of the people. It's about revenue, collecting money. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, it reminds me to get another scripture. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find this right quick. Bear with me one second. Okay. This is John chapter 2 verse 15. It says, And when he had made a scourge of small cords, this is talking about Yahweh Shai, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes, money, and overthrew the tables 
Matter of fact, you know what? Matter of fact, let me just get this account in the scriptures. John chapter 2, let's see, verse 15. It says, and when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables. And he said unto them, their soul does. Take these things hence. Make not my father's house in the house of merchandise. And, uh, and his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of thine house have eaten me up. But that's what happened. See what I'm saying? These, these money changers and merchants made this a house of what? Merchandise. And that's what these churches do. They make it a house of merchandise. They sell them fake bottles of uh, holy water. They sell these fake uh, cloths, supposedly the, the uh, cloths that, you know what I'm saying, anointing cloths that, that uh, who they call Jesus Christ, supposedly touched or anointed. It came out of his tomb or came from his garment that he had on when a woman had to issue blood, said, let, her, let me just touch the hem of God. All these fake gimmicks these churches come with. You know what I'm saying? And another part of the gimmick is what? This right here. See what I'm saying? Matter of fact, uh, let me see. No. Uh, See if I can find it right quick. Yep, Matthew twenty one and thirteen. Let me get there right quick. I think this is the one I was looking for. Matthew 21 and 13 says, well, I'm going to start up. It said, and Yahweh shall, who the world called Jesus Christ, and Yahweh shall went into the temple of Yahweh, his father. See, it's, it's showing that it's his father. Those are the two separate entities. Those are not the same person. It says, and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer. See, but ye have made it a den of thieves. So this right here is supposed to be called a house of prayer, but instead they turned into a den of thieves. What is a thief? Uh, let me see. Let me find the scripture right quick. This is, let's see. Yep. This is John 10 and 10. It says, The thief come and die, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So the thief, which resides where? And these harlot houses coming not but for to steal to kill and destroy see what I'm saying so when they in support of this this abominable act you see what I'm saying with this rainbow on the sign that mean what they come to steal kill and destroy they what stealing the heritage from you Negroes Latino Native American they're not telling you that you are the true Jews or the true uh, children of uh, of the Lord you know what I'm saying? The true children of Israel. They're not telling you that. It said coming out, but just, uh, steal, kill. They're killing you spiritually because you don't know who you are. You don't know your nationality. You don't know who your heritage is. And to destroy. And it destroys you what? Mentally, physically, and, and spiritually. See what I'm saying? So this harlot house has destroyed you. But like the scripture we read earlier in... Uh, Matthew, let me get that again. Let me get that scripture again. Let 
In Matthew chapter 15 and 8, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart, meaning their mind, from the Hebrew word law, meaning their mind, is far from me. Why? Because the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy. So they don't know what they're doing. Some of them do, some of them don't. But they just go about what they learn that's been passed down from generation to generation. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the precepts of men. You know what I'm saying? And, and they just, hey, they, they just going with the flow. Mm-hmm. They thinking that, they think that by them uh, accepting this abominable thing, they thinking they doing a, a righteous act, but they not. See what I'm saying? Because like I said, a thief coming now, but still couldn't destroy it. These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. You're saying you love the Lord. You think you're doing the righteous act, but you're not because you've been destroyed. By what? These harlot houses, these uh, these wicked uh, philosophies, these wicked doctrines, you know what I'm saying, that the thief brought to you. Who is the thief? Esau. You know what I'm saying? The so-called white man. That's the thief. He's the one stealing your nationality and your heritage from you uh, children of Israel, you Negro, Latino, and Native American. See what I'm saying? So you people better get it right. Churches like this, the Lord is going to destroy. See what I'm saying? The Lord is not in support of these churches, man. Especially supporting this rainbow and and support of these other wicked acts. The Lord is not with that. You know what I'm saying? So with that, a bar, 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 shalom.